Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. In this video I've got myself a new toy. I don't know if you can tell what it is yet. I don't know how I would run a competition to see whether you guess, because I'm about to tell you. Um, it's a drill pump. So this is essentially, you have a little shaft here, which you attach a drill to, and then that grabs, creates the suction and acts as a water pump basically. So what the hell do I need this for, you may well be asking yourselves. Well, come with me and I shall show you. So we're in the living room and this is my display tank over here. The lights are off at the moment. Alexa, turn on the display light. Um, as you can see, so my water change regime usually involves this. So you see that black hose out there. Let me just show you. I'll stick one end of that hose in the tank. And then the other hand goes in a drain there and then cycles into that water butt. What I do is I stick one end in there and then do a big chug on the other end to create a siphon and that puts it all down into the drain outside, which is fine. But you know, for my regular cleaning of my sump, regular being once a year at this point, the sump is a bit too low to be able to create that siphon and keep it going. So I end up using some kind of pump down there to get into all the gunk. And occasionally it's a little bit harder to get the siphon going on the big tank. So I wanted something a little bit different, which is where this thing comes in. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I don't even know if it works yet. I bought this off Amazon. I'm sure I will put a link down in the description so you can have a look and see yourselves. There are various other offers. This one seemed to be well reviewed and fairly cheap and easy so let's have a go let's have a test so it came with these quick release fittings on it already uh, and if you look very closely there is some directional arrows telling you which way the water is meant to flow so it's meant to come through the yellow side and out to the green side so I prepared earlier this one is connected to the drain or it's poked down the drain I've just used the one that was on it rather than the one that came with it. And then this side, we have a new one, which we can connect there. And in theory, that's it. Now, I'll probably mount this in the cabinet somewhere underneath, but this is just a test to see if it works. I've used this clear so I can see whether or not it's actually pulling the water. So it should just be a case of dipping that in there just put a clamp on it to make sure so as you can see it's there get my trusty drill so in theory and it says don't do this it says don't hold it by hand but mount it somewhere but just for a test we'll try it in theory this should start drawing water so let's give it a go and it is indeed drawing water. So, just popped a little strainer on it. We can go and have a look and see what the output's like. So, that'll probably help me to speed up my maintenance a bit, really. Um, my, my general way that I attack the sump down here is that I take all the media out and then I can give it a good scoosh around. But now, if I've got the drill pump, I'll probably mount it closer to this end. And it's just literally a case of sticking it into all the nooks and crannies and sucking up all the mum and yucky stuff. And I can probably do it a lot more often because it's not going to be quite as hard. So that's a good thing. As you can see, the flow rate was pretty good. Um, it's really dependent on the size of the drill or the speed of the drill that you use. It's a bit unfortunate it doesn't actually hold a siphon and um, obviously the drill parts itself block that from happening and um, so it's something that only, it's only going to get used once every couple of months or something when I clean the sump out but a useful little addition so as some of us find ourselves with more time on our hands these days possibly in isolation you can get more cleaning done so I'll leave a link in the description you can all have a look at that and other things obviously I do make about approximately a tenth of a penny if you end up buying something um, but I just thought a useful tip is something that um, 
people always go straight to the python if you have to get water and you have to get it uphill rather than being able to siphon anything down folk will suggest a python and it, great as it is um, it just seems a bit wasteful for me so hopefully this is another option fairly cheap fairly easy and um, might be of some use to some people and um, as always click that subscribe button if you haven't already and we'll see you probably faster than next week because I'll have nothing better to do than make more videos. So while you probably can't buy any milk, bread, toilet roll or anything like that useful at the moment, um, you'll be able to get that off Amazon, so check it out.